Welcome back to Freestyle Fanatic. I'm your co-host, and yep, and this is Demar Lashawn. Yeah, we start in the second half of the uh, segment of Black Panther mm-hmm. and our thoughts and opinions about it. And uh, the first half, we really just talked about um, the the hidden messages mm-hmm. um, of Black Panther within the um, intra-racial relations between uh, Black Americans and Black Africans. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should just say the we should just say in in just general, the uh, black di- diaspora. Um, I wanted to talk about how this movie and the reactions that black people have mm. with this movie, the reactions to it. It was interesting because some black people put this mo- movie on the same level as Barack Obama's monumental moment of winning the presidency in 2008. Mm. I think that's going too far. I think that's ridiculous. This is a Disney movie. It is just a movie. It's fantasy. It's like The Matrix. Hmm. This phone is not real. It's, it's <laughs> what do you say? It, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. This phone I'm glad you exist. said that though, because <laughs> I had that in my head that it was probably the two, it, it represented the diversity of Obama. Barack Obama. Mm-hmm. It was a part that he wanted to say and a part that he did say. Okay. I felt like this was in my head, you know, just for a moment or two, the Wakanda was what he would present himself as, but okay. what he really felt was Killmonger. Well, I'm glad you you stepping on that. Crush that for me. Because it just hopped in my head for a quick second. Well, I mean, at the end of the day. You're searching, trying to put something together. But, but you know what, though? But if you feel that way, you feel that way. You shouldn't have to change it. I just feel like... It was a thought. It was just not, and that's okay. I mean, it's a lot of people that just put this movie on that level. I mean, Barack Obama's monumental moment was real. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a real moment that actually happened. Whereas Black Panther, this movie is really just still an idea mm. that has not been put into fruition just yet. Well said, yeah. That's how I feel. It's an idea. Mm-hmm. And our black people, are we are we obsessed with idealism? Probably so. Mm. Are we obsessed with imagery? Probably so. I just, I'm a person, I'm a doer. Mm-hmm. Not only am I a dreamer, I dream about it, but I actually do it. So mm-hmm. God sends me a dream and say, my daughter, this is what you are supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You best believe I'm going to go out there and get it. Because if God say it can happen, then mm-hmm. damn it, it can happen. <laughs> so... It yeah. got like, you know, Martin Dr. Mm-hmm. Luther King said, I had a dream. Well, he made sure that that dream happened. And yeah. now whether we can say the integration really worked in our benefit as black people, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother a whole day. Nother topic. But yeah. I would say this. I wouldn't necessarily put it on the same level because Barack Obama's monumental moment actually happened, whereas Wakanda is still an ideal country mm-hmm. that, ha- that doesn't exist. It's a make-believe. It's make-believe. It's imagination. It's yeah, imagination. Yep. It's make mm-hmm. believe. Now, did it did it give us hope? Yes, but Barack Obama gave us hope. But look at where we are right now. Are we we mm. Barack Obama is still he is a black president or biracially black a biracial mm-hmm. man who identifies as being a black man. That's and that's the hope versus the hype. The hope versus the hype. Mm. The hope versus That's the hype, right. and can we actually make this a reality? Like, I felt like black people are too obsessed with representation and imagery that we mm. were so admired by it that we don't do anything about it. We love it, but we don't do anything about it. Mm. So, love, see the imagery and say, hey, I want, I want to make that happen. Then we should start making that happen. But mm-hmm. I don't really hear too many black people saying, let's make that happen. I'm hearing too many black people say, I want to visit Wakanda. Child, Wakanda <laughs> does not exist. It's not real. It's the Matrix. It doesn't yeah. exist. It's not real. Well, it should exist. It should exist. Okay, thank but you. that means that black people should make yeah. it exist. Yeah. And we should work on making uh-huh. the Wakanda be, be an existent to mm-hmm. us. You know, a nation full of beautiful black people, a nation that's very prideful of their people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They will fight. That hides in plain sight. Mm -hmm. But we know who we are. Yeah. Yeah. It took me a while to get that, that they were hiding the kingdom in plain sight. I thought, like, what did they mean? But the whole, when he went through the thing and when he was in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hiding in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight. Uh Uh-huh. So, but that was to 
to happen to protect their nation because they knew that they had something that was mm. valuable. Right. And they they made an admission that they weren't going to end up like the other African nations. Mm -hmm. But they should have been more, like I said in the last segment, I really just believe that T'Challa, if he wanted to be the change, instead of, you know, bringing it to the UN, he really should have brought it to other African nations to make Africa mm -hmm. a, a force to be reckoned with. That's how I felt. Just you know being what? home first. Because yes, I would love for him to help out the people Bring in America. In. But how can he help us if he don't help that con help the continent of Africa? Bring first? it on in. Maybe you bring know, bring in. some, bring some. Uh, you know, let's let's have some type of like uh, program where some of the tech engineers, black tech mm -hmm. engineers, can come to African countries and mm -hmm. make a living. You know what I'm saying? Bring and like do something man. like that. Like that would be great because African Americans don't know who they are. Let they me don't dot, let me dot your eyes <laughs> and cross this T. Yeah. Uh, alternative ending. Mm -hmm. Him talking to those five families or that five those five different tribes. Yep. Let's start by that. Let's make a deal. Alternative ending, and I would have been. I, I would have felt inspired and getting up. Like, okay, I got something, something to think about. This the way they know the fight, the whole movie and the struggle with the UN conference. Took yeah. It. Didn't like that. Yeah. And then you know, and then. This also just brings me to this this also topic about that I want to talk about in the second half was you know make believe versus reality mm -hmm. and I you know T'Challa is known as being a superhero in the Marvel universe he mm -hmm. is a superhero but in my opinion Ryan Coogler wrote him more as a political figure and it's like can and like have you noticed that majority of the black superheroes are written in a black context. Mm. Uh, racial context like Luke Cage is as well uh -uh, good so point. Good point. it's like you know their race takes a forefront of the whole entire comic book or the the, the entire series their race supersedes even in special powers even with special powers and mm. it's like can black people can we create a, a superhero can we can we get our superhero like without the race like you know because this is a fantasy world you know metropolis does not exist it's a fake city man you gotta give me someone that that's, <laughs> that's heavy right there gotham can city we, is a fake yeah. city yep so what wakanda is a fake nation uh-huh but i mean a superhero is fake there's uh -huh. no such thing as a man that exists that with that is being filled by kryptonite. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as that. You know, he's a superhero. He saves the people of Metropolis, but he doesn't exist because of the super the powers that he has. But you know what? They put the race stamp on there. It's called, they always put the race stamp. It's called the Black Panther. Right. It's not like saying white Superman. Yeah, they know white Superman. There's none of that. So it's like I asked, can black people have their own hmm. imagination? Does that have to always be colonized? I feel like our minds are being colonized that we can't do anything without our race being in the forefront. Mm -hmm. And even Marvel Universe, these superheroes don't exist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's a part of our fantasy because us human beings, we always want something more than ourselves. And that's why they develop as entertainment. Like, what if we had this? You know, as a kid, these, these are why they're created. What if mm -hmm. this happened? What if this happened? You know, mm -hmm. we know it couldn't happen, but we just want to see that, we want to see that being played out in fantasy. Mm -hmm. And then you leave it alone. You watch Superman, you enjoy it, and then you leave it alone. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why can't we? I, when I watch Black Panther, I'm sitting around right here thinking like, damn, like the, a lot of the stuff that's in there was the harsh realities of the intra-racial relationships between Black Americans and Black Africans. That's a real that's a issue. Real that's not, I, it's yeah. like, I can't take that. I can't watch that movie and just be like, oh, I'm going to leave it alone because that's mm -hmm. a reality. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So mm -hmm. even though it was entertaining for a person who's I've been following race relations and interracial perspectives, interracial perspectives for years when mm -hmm. I started to really dwell into the uh, realities of racism mm -hmm. since I was 18 years old. After I graduated from high school, then I really started to reach out and learn for mm -hmm. myself. I was my own sociology teacher. I go. learned my own stuff. Yes, I had sociology courses. Yes, mm -hmm. I took soci social psychology. And I, of course, I've taken multicultural psychology mm -hmm. where we had to learn about 
um, racism in a in a um, small context or a large context. Mm. So it's like I've studied these things on my own as well as in school. But at the same time, when I watch a, when as a black person, as a black creative individual, I sometimes want to be entertained in a fantasy world. Right. And that's what I want where when I watch Black Panther, although it was entertaining to me to see the beautiful imagery, mm -hmm. what I took from it was that it was a harsh reality that there is some conflict mm -hmm. between blacks and black Americans and black Africans because of the strained history of African Americans being sold into slavery and being left on their own to defend for themselves mm -hmm. and their 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 own culture was stripped from them their identity was stripped from them where Africans know where they come from mm -hmm. they they could probably trace their lineage from about 10 15 generations whereas African Americans where do they stop where where do they where does their their tree begin where does their family tree begin you know, so African Americans yeah. always struggle. But one thing that I would say about African Americans that makes this particular ethnic group a very strong group was that we picked up where we left off and we recreated us a new identity mm -hmm. that is being exploited and made so much money mm -hmm. off of throughout the years, throughout yeah. the couple of generations. Big time, yeah. Yeah, music, mm -hmm. art. Fashion. They still are fashions. Look at the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fashion buff. I love fashion industry, European fashions as well as African fashions. These European people are going back into the European fashions are going back into the hoods now. Yeah. And the, you know, the Supreme clientele. Is that what it is? Supreme New York. Sorry, Supreme okay. New York. Uh, Louis Vuitton came to them to recreate Louis Vuitton coat. Oh yeah, I remember. With that. the logo and stuff. These are, mm -hmm. these is the black urban communities. Mm -hmm. They're going back to those. They're taking our fashions. You know, we always do that. We, we take and we recreate it. Mm -hmm. We see and we recreate because we have nothing else. We can't, we don't know where we right. came from. So I we see. have to take get, what we see and make it our own. I get what you're saying. Yeah. When Louis Vuitton knocks on the Supreme door, nobody should answer though. Agreed. We don't want the check. We don't want to, right. let's. The fact that Louis Vuitton is able to walk out of there with some patterns, some yeah, but see, Supreme New York has been known for using Louis Vuitton's logos to recreate it, but that they don't own Louis Vuitton's logo. Hey, you know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, so there's some there's, giving, a, there's some there's some, there's some issues, there, but that's what we do. We right. sampling. Right. Black people, we you know DJs. Mm -hmm. You know DJs, they sample. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's where hip hop became born was that mm -hmm. we it came from the party scene we dj you loop that one part that one part of the song that everybody gets the party mm -hmm. going and that's how djs right. eventually the became break. producers mm -hmm. in in the game dj mm -hmm. premier you feel me so will we have greatest to greatest producer of all time <laughs> with, the with, with the ultimate smack in the face yeah. will be will we have to just say we american American and African, that's, that's even American African versus African American. See, that's that thing. We're not. Some of us don't always originated from Africa. Some of us probably don't originate from Africa. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some of us may originate wherever. So it's just really tough to define that. We gonna have to get around this. So, okay. The genealogy. All right, all right. Let's get back to the the Black Panther. Yeah. We gonna have to get around that. Black James Brown helped usher this black stamp of approval. Yes. From a political yes. infused whatever. Yes. Okay. We end up with black. What do you think about the presence of the creator of the Black Panther, mm -hmm. who drew him up and drew his story, his comic book? And had to sell his like Louis Vuitton and deal with Disney to help this movie come out. He sold it to uh, Disney. Well, yeah. Stan Lee. Yeah. Who makes an appearance in all these movies? You remember when Stan Lee made an appearance in Black Panther? Yeah. Okay. Seeing Stan Lee snaps me back to where it all began. Mm -hmm. And I think that compromise of him selling his his ideas and thoughts to Disney, uh -huh. but you got to put me in every movie. Cause it snaps us back to reality that we really haven't went anywhere. And yeah. I'm an old man and I'm still here writing these stories. The original black superhero was supposed to be the Green Lantern mm -hmm. who came out of inner city, mm -hmm. but he got twist, turn, Ryan Reynolds ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the way these stories are being portrayed by the time they get to the big screen is not all, it's so political. 
and so many people had their hands on it. I think that good thing that Stan Lee still makes his appearance in some of these movies mm -hmm. because it brings us back to where it all probably came from. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, with that being said, I don't know if we can go any further. Nope. We're going to call this uh, Black Panther Answer. Yeah, we're going to fade to black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're going to fade to black. Wakanda forever. For sure. Like, yeah. What would have happened if James Brown didn't take that? Did you hear? I'm black and I'm proud. Did you hear that James Brown had something to do with uh, the Dr. King holiday? Yes. You heard about yep, that? I heard about that. That he um, allegedly told Al Sharpton that he was cool with the Republicans and they went down there to 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 uh, Washington, D.C. to talk to um, Reagan about getting the, I see, I didn't the know federal the holiday mm. initiated. Mm. I didn't know the intricate yeah. plans of, okay. Yes. Wow. And, and he said, hey, you know, James said, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm cool with the Republicans too. Mm -hmm. And then as you know, that shit happened. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm shocked to say, right. I said, who would have known that James Brown had something to do with Dr. King, Dr. King holiday being a federal holiday? Who would have never known? <laughs> Come on, man. Man, who would have known that? Yeah, mm -hmm. Al Sharpton had said that. And I was like, that is crazy. Who, who played James Brown in the movie? Jab with Chadwick Boseman, who's playing T'Challa in Black Panther. Connections. It is connections. Our white people, you know what? I have my own thing about Chadwick. Black people did not choose Chadwick. He kind of came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> white yeah. people kind of chose Chadwick. Yeah, yeah. It's like, who is this nigga? Like, you know, when he first, uh, <laughs> for me, he, he came, he appeared to me when he played the uh, Jackie Robinson story. For oh, yeah, I like that. And I said to myself, "Who is this nigga?" Like, yeah. it's like it's like how, it's like white people just like, like chose this dude and say he All is right. y'all face for the new black, the new Tay the Diggs new black it. actor. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because black people kind of chose Denzel. We chose mm -hmm. Denzel. We chose Samuel Jackson because he's they starred in black films. Yeah. even though I know that Denzel's first movie was Carbon Copy, but I know that uh, a lot of these black actors that that came out and we chose them like Angela Bassett we chose her mm -hmm. as actors we chose these but in Taraji we chose her because she was in Baby Boy <laughs> John wow, Singleton wow. Yeah. movie so it's like we chose these but but this dude kind of came out of nowhere yeah. he's playing like all the black iconic figures he played Thurgood Marshall hey let's hey James Brown hey take it easy give somebody else a check Jackie Robinson we gotta link all that and Black Panther up with your ass like, and Black Panther like white people geez. said we like him and he's gonna mm -hmm. be the one that's gonna play all these roles mm -hmm. I mean he's talented so I'm not mad and but he the, wasn't a bad choice and Killmonger uh, what's my man Michael, B. Michael Jordan. B. Jordan I'm glad that he was Killmonger because yeah. he would be horrible playing an African with an accent uh, can you imagine with that mm -hmm. accent I don't think he could keep up with the rest of them Nah. Angela but, looked absolutely amazing mm -hmm. to me. I think he's having a good imprint on how the story comes about too. Like, yeah, definitely. You know, good. I mean, he did the same thing with Rocky movie Apollo. He yeah, and it's like Creed too that's coming out. Yeah, too. Creed, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. He 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 embodies the the um, the urban experience just yes, like he, he, he did with this with Killmonger. He yes, tried he to did. embody that. He Probably did. didn't come across. As good as it did Man, with Creed. Killmonger in that movie had all the girls saying, kill this pussy, literally. Oh, well. It's like, Killmonger, oh, you yeah. mean kill this pussy. Right. Like, every girl in that movie, every time he showed up on camera, they was oh, like, man. salivating at the mouth. I was Ripping like, the shirt off, even with the bumps on the body. He like, like hey, woo. Yeah. It's like, Ooh, I heard the crowd sexy, talk. Yeah. Sexy as hell. <laughs> okay, all right. Hashtag kill that pussy. Kill that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> New t-shirts. <laughs> As that killed this pussy. Can you imagine what some nigga is saying that? Can you imagine a female come on TV? Can you kill this pussy? And like she got the t-shirt with the hashtag on there. Right. You'd be like, I want you to kill this pussy. Yeah. Like she just comes, she just kill monger on the back and shit. Kill monger. Wow. Like, I don't yeah. know about that. Don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Pussy killer. Mm. <laughs> so we rapping? Okay. Mm. Any sympathy for Killmonger? Yeah, he was just a hurt, hurt man. He was mm -hmm. hurt that the Wakanda nation, the Wakanda nation had left him. Mm -hmm. That's all. His hate came from somewhere. Mm -hmm. People who have a lot of hate in their hearts, it don't. It comes from somewhere. Mm -hmm. It just don't come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, there's always an etymology to everything that we do.
Why'd you leave me in such a wretched place? Yeah, why you leave me? Why you leave You know, me? you left me and I could have been a royal. Mm -hmm. But I'm sitting around here being a project kid, poor and trying to defend myself. Mm -hmm. Struggling with my mama. Now my daddy did and y'all killed my daddy. Mm -hmm. And then my daddy promised me that I was going to be in Wakanda. And now I'm not and I'm still in Oakland. Mm. But y'all knew I existed and left me like I didn't exist. Mm. How are you different from the white man? Oof. Go ahead, Daniel. Like, that's how he felt. It's a lot of anger there. And I felt like it was justified. Was I don't feel like his hatred towards those, the rest of the people was. Mm -hmm. That was that ain't got nothing to do with the rest of them. That got something to do with the man that's dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your yeah. daddy and yeah. T'Challa's daddy is dead. Mm -hmm. That's to be between them. I don't feel like, you know, the way he handled things was right because he changed the whole nation into being a hate filled nation. Yeah. And that's not okay. This is kind of like Hitler. Mm hmm. Well, Hitler had a lot of hatred well in his heart, but yep. Hitler is a Jew. How can a man that how can a man who enslaved Jews have all this self self hatred? Mm. And he's and he's supposed to be a Jewish man. So because why does why does he have all this hatred to enslave a whole whole uh, ethnic group of people? Oof. He had a lot of hatred, mm -hmm. and he got away with it. Mm -hmm. And Killmonger got away with it too for a little brief moment. Yeah, it's a shot that didn't stand up for himself mm -hmm. and fight back, fight back to get back into his body. Uh huh. You know, so it was a lot of spiritual elements too yeah. in that movie. Well, astral projection. I like that too. I'm a spiritual individual. Yeah, I most in definitely. That. I one of the tops. Yeah, most definitely. And the hate consumed him. The hate consumed him. And the hate consumed him. Yeah, which means he wasn't great for mm -hmm. a king. He yeah. wasn't, because he, he was too painful. I mean, you really didn't have to string your sister up and tell her, when I when I tell you to do something, you do that yeah, shit. Yeah, you don't. You disrespect yeah. your women. Jeez. But see? Jeez. See? But why does he disrespect women? He hate his mama. Uh. <laughs> Come on. That's a whole nother dis... Man, I could talk about Ma this. Mama, look. mama was in Oakland. Mama was in Oakland. Pimping going on in Oakland. Pimping was going on in Oakland. Ooh. Mama Mama sat around and she taking care of me. Okay. She, he don't have no respect for women. Mm -hmm. He don't have no respect for women. So there is a difference between. Yeah. It, so y'all had a lot of respect for women, but it, the, the nation had mm -hmm. respect for women. It was trying to show us. The difference. Yeah, the difference. Mm -hmm. They don't have respect for women. Let's be for real. Right. As a black American community, we do not have no respect for women. Hip hop don't mm -hmm. have no respect for women. The misogyny in hip, in hip hop is just getting, it's so out of hand that it's, it's like other races feel like it's okay to disrespect the black woman. Yeah. It is for real. That that was that that's, <laughs> that was that was it. That trap, hip hop, Malcolm. Yeah, Mark. Definitely, it was a lot mm. of parallelisms in there. Yeah, you know, some people say, well, they didn't like that. I say that's realistic. Mm. There's, a, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some Africans that probably hate they women too, but it's very rare. Okay. In their culture, they respect the woman. But to give it too much credit for Lincoln, mm -hmm. how we feeling? Let's give some credit to Stan Lee because. Mm -hmm. That's what Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, it tiptoed about Hitler. Superman mm -hmm. was the last Superman was about how right. many people he killed right. while he's saving people. So right. nowadays, I don't know. It, we're 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 being held accountable for our actions, whereas the old school super movies, you know, you just run through the city buildings, fall, you don't think about it. Right. Now I think because of where. Uh, the human race has evolved with the internet and information. Mm. I think they're dealing with us on an informative level mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. a lot of people are not going to see some of the messages. Yeah. They're going to get mixed up in there. So we're here to help sure y'all see straight through. Messages always get messed up. Mm -hmm. we, right. We're here to unconfuse those things. All right. We're signing off freestyle. We're signing off. Fanatic. Right back. Black Panthers. Yeah. Cougars, tigers, lions and tigers and bears and mine. Like, I'm serious. Black panthers you know? and yellow alligators. You know, it's wow. just that shit like always blew me, you know, as a nation. Mm -hmm. You know, like that.